She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to be doing this look right here. And this video is a part of my one eyeshadow makeup look series. So honey, if you have not checked out the other two videos, then after this one, go ahead and binge watch. Okay, go ahead and binge watch those videos. If you are new here, thank you for joining me today. And if you are already part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continued support I'm not gonna hold you let's go ahead and get right into the video as I've mentioned in all of these videos you want to make sure that you start with a light eyeshadow base nothing too light me personally I don't like to do anything too light I just like to do something that's still along the same hue of my skin tone if you've watched my other videos then you already know which palette I'm using today and that palette is this makeup revolution palette it is the reloaded marvelous matte palette and today we are going to be going in with this red shadow so I'm going to scooch y'all in and we are going to get started so the brush that I'm going to be starting with today is this brush right here and this is just a wet and wild brush that I actually picked up from the Dollar Tree just to do a little plug I am going to be uploading a video featuring all products from the Dollar Tree so I did my entire face with just using Dollar Tree makeup and sis <laughs> It was something else <laughs> your girl was stressed so I'm just going to start by putting that red in the crease and with this eyeshadow look I really want to concentrate on the outer V and with these looks I want to bring different variations of ways you can work with your eyeshadow So as I place that, I'm also going to start blending out those edges. I'm then going to start pushing that color in the inner eye socket, so right up in here. So now it's time for the packing, and we are going to start packing that color on the lid. I'm going to pack some more on the outer V because like I mentioned I want that to be a little bit on the heavier side so now I'm going to go in with a brush that's a little bit more dense and we are going to buff that line out and we're going to go back and forth with packing on more color and blending it out And then I'm just going to lightly blend that into the inner corner because I don't want the inner corner to be really heavy with color. And I'm going to use that denser brush and I'm just going to start pulling that color outward and back up into the outer V. Some of that is going to go away after I do my concealer, so honey, don't get too worried, you know? All right, so I am done with that, and I want to do a little bit something different in this video. So I am going to go in with a black liner, and I'm going to do somewhat of an illusion cat eye. So let's see how this turns out. 
And by the way, the eyeliner that I am using is from the Dollar Tree, okay? And I really do like it. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm actually not going to be doing a full strip of lashes, but I'm going to be doing some individual placement of the lashes just to give more of a wow factor. So I'm just going to let those be and move on to the rest of my face. I usually don't feature what I do for the rest of my face in these one eyeshadow makeup look videos but today i was like i'm going to bring them the whole shebang today and just to give you guys a little inside scoop on how i do my makeup my concealer i'm going to go into one of my ogs which is this la girl pro conceal concealer in warm honey i've already done a little bit of highlighting on my forehead my chin and my nose so I went in with a different highlighter and I'll actually showcase that highlighter next. And then I'm just going to use the brush that I applied with for my foundation and I'm going to blend that out underneath. I usually use a sponge, but I cannot find my sponge. So. And I am going to get more up under my eye, but I'm just using this just to blend out the concealer seamlessly into my face makeup. So I use this brush right here to actually apply my base for my eyeshadow and it has a little bit of a lighter concealer on it so I'm going to go in with the concealer that I use for my forehead, my nose, and my chin which is that LA Colors concealer that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I know you guys are like, girl, you using all these makeup on the now? But I mean, I'm just using a little, and and I like the color of this one, and the consistency really isn't heavy. So you can layer this on on top of any concealer. I'm also gonna use that to clean up the sides of my eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go back in with the foundation brush and just blend all of that in. And this is a real technique brush. So I'm going to set that under eye with <laughs> this powder right here from LA Colors. I actually really like it. <laughs> I'm just going to, let's see here, use a fluffy eyeshadow blending brush and I'm just going to tap that right under the eye and then tap you know lightly down on other parts of the face that I believe need a little bit more light Going with another mascara, which is my Milk Makeup Mascara, and I absolutely love this mascara. And it's actually their Kush Mascara, and honey, it's going to give us a little bit more thickness for the upper lashes. And I'm just going to apply that in the areas where I want my lashes to be more obvious, especially because we have these two longer pieces here. I want to make sure that my front lashes don't look too off scale. Now it's time to bronze, and yes, I am bronzing with something I got from the Dollar Tree, okay? And this is a bronzer, and it's called Beauty Benefits, which is hilarious. You guys, it's amazing. I absolutely love this, and I love the color, I love the formula, and I just love how it looks on my skin.
just to have a little bit more concentration of color and just to pull those cheeks and just have more variation in the skin. I'm gonna go in with this Becca Perfect Skin powder in the color tobacco and then I'm also going to use another wet and wild brush I got from Dollar Tree and it's actually a blush brush but I'm just going to concentrate it more in my cheeks and some more on the forehead and I'm also going to go down the sides of my nose just a little so next to finish off the look I am just going to apply a inner tear duct highlight and I'm going into this Ruby Kisses eyeshadow palette and it's Dear Diary series and so I believe I'm going to go in with this color right here. As always I'm going to be going in with my Milani Bake Bronzer in 04 Glow. This is, a, I feel like I say this in every video, but this is a subtle kind of highlight. <laughs> it's really not over the top. It's going to give you a nice natural glow and that's what I love about it the most. You know, it's, it's not doing too much and it doesn't make you look artificial. I like for all of my makeup to complement my skin tone and this just makes your skin look so freaking glowy. Like, look at that, it's insane. And to finish off the lips, I am just putting some basic gloss and this is a gloss from NYX. It's one of their butter glosses, which I adore. And this is in the color Eclair. Then I'm just gonna outline with one of my favorite lip liners, which I've been using in all of my videos. And this is a Milani lip liner, and this is in the color Coco. All right, booze, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share this video with your friends, your family, your associates. And don't forget to subscribe too if you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you for joining me. Smooches, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!